Welcome to Uliza, a ministry of kuzaapp.com, where you can ask questions and we will give you a biblical response. Now let's hear today's question. How do you know the will of God in your life and how do you walk perfectly aligned to the will of God? First of all, I want to thank you so much for asking this question. We are very excited to know that you have reached out to us and you are interested in finding out what the will of God is. Now, allow me to engage us in four different ways because it's a question that most people have wondered and it has been trivialized unnecessarily. Number one, to respond to the question, how do you know the will of God? There are no five steps or three ways for you to know the will of God. Contrary to what we've been told many times, that this or that particular thing is the will of God for your life, we really need to demystify that and understand that in the Bible, there is not necessarily any such thing as God's will for your life, but there is God's will, God's will for us. So that now, if I say my life, I'll be thinking like, there's this particular thing that God would want me to do. Whereas that might be a bit true, we need to find out from the general perspective first so that we can narrow down to the specifics. So let me begin at this point in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, 28. We see that God gave us uh, in Adam and Eve what his plan for creating us was all about. The Bible tells us that God created Adam and Eve in his image and likeness and he also commanded them to dominate the earth, multiply and fill it and care for it. Now dominion over creation was one of those things that God gave Adam and Eve as things to do. Now that is man is primarily a steward of the things that God has given to them. So if you ask how do you know the will of God? Well we need to understand where this conversation begins. When we were created God created us so that we can be stewards of everything that he has given to us. God's will for us, if there's anything like that, is to be stewards of the resources that is given to us. He has placed everything before us so that we can care for it and be stewards. He also charged them to multiply and fill the earth. So we can actually say in essence, one of the things that God desires for us is to be able to, and note this, rightly walk in the article of marriage so that now we can populate and give birth and produce godly offspring. But secondly, as we seek to understand how do we know the will of God, we need to also understand that in the same verses that God made man and woman, he made them in his image so that they can be a reflection of God's glory. What is God's will or how do I know God's will? Then it means I must go back to God, but also understand that in Genesis 1 in the beginning, God created man and woman in his own image and likeness so that man and woman can be a reflection of God's glory. Every time we see each other, we need to be reminded of the person of God. And the only answer then for us to understand the how of it is partly to understand how to handle your manhood or your womanhood. That is the will of God because the way we handle our manhood and womanhood are a critical part of showing that we understand the will of God. Now, the only answer then to the question how is directly tied to us knowing our identity. So the question of how do I understand the will of God, Mavo, is you need to first of all know your identity. Who am I? If you are able to correctly answer the question of who am I, then you'll be able to answer the question of how do I know God's will. So who am I in Christ? What is my identity? I'm created in the image and the likeness of God. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 that we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which he prepared in advance that we should walk in them. We are his workmanship. That is our identity. Who am I? I am not what I do. I am not where I went to school. I am not the things I do in this life. I am who God created me to be. Most of us mistake our will, the will of God for our lives, if there's anything again like that, for what I do. I am an engineer. God, God created me to be this. God created me to be that. Well, that is a skill. And literally, any Tom, Dick, and Harry can learn to be an engineer. It's not just everybody that is born again that is an engineer. So you see, we cannot necessarily say that is God's will. It is over and beyond what we do. So there is, therefore, that first place to begin in our quest to know the will of God. And we need to know our identity in Christ. Now, how do I know my identity in Christ? It begins at the point of salvation. First Peter chapter 4, verse 2 contrasts the will of God God 
with living in the flesh. Peter tells us not to live in the flesh, but to walk fulfilling the will of God. How do I know the will of God? I know the will of God as I pursue an identity in Christ, as I pursue a definition of myself in view of what the Bible says. That is the first step of understanding or knowing the will of God. Now, and the thing is, basically, everyone who is born again, Everyone who is born again is in the will of God. And let me put this here into brackets then. As Romans 8.1 in the King James Version, the Bible says that in the King James or the New King James, that there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Those who walk according to the Spirit and not according to the flesh. Then of course it continues to say, for the power of the Spirit of life has set me free from the power of sin and death. And so we are saying, those ones who are born again, Indeed, emphasizing on those who walk according to the Spirit. Those ones are in the will of God. And so if you are there today and you're born again, this is God's general will. That is number one. So how do I know God's will? We need to go back to the beginning and find our identity in Christ. That is our. So if you're not born again, then you might necessarily not even be able to answer that question, how do I know God's will? If you're born again and walking according to the Spirit, not according to the flesh, then you are able to understand what the will of God is. Number two, the preacher in Ecclesiastes answers a different question in how do you know the will of God? He, in Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13, he tells us that the whole duty of man is to worship God and serve him. How do I know the will of God? I need to understand those words. In the general will of God, it is to know him and worship him for who he is. However, this will look like for you, it is the will of God. However, that serving him and obeying him looks like. You might be doing that as a doctor. You might be doing that as a cobbler. You might be doing that as an artist. You might be doing that as a musician. You might be doing that. You cannot just say, oh, me, the will of God for me is singing. No, 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 no. The will of God is that you have an identity in Christ and glorify him fully. So the Bible tells us that whatever we do in word or deed, we must do all for the glory of God. That is the will of God. First Thessalonians 4 tells us, for instance, this is the will of God, your sanctification to abstain from sexual immorality and all those things so basically we are saying if i'm born again i need to understand the words of the preacher in ecclesiastes that the whole duty of man is to worship him and worship him alone it may happen as again as i said as a student the will of god for you is not for you to go to a certain university you may you may and you may not it doesn't mean that people who are not in university who have not been able to go to college are not living in the will of god you see just because I'm not an engineer and I was, I was planning to do that in campus and did not have money to study, doesn't mean that now I'm not walking in the will of God. No, no, no. That is a mistake. In fact, it's, a, it's mystifying the whole thing. Yet yeah, it is very simple. And so you can do that in different ways. And this is what I call God's particular will. So we're saying there's God's general will. Male and female, understand your manhood, your womanhood, understand that God has created you as a steward generally for every Tom, Dick and Harry, everyone who exists in this world because God has created us. But secondly, we need to understand the particular will of God. That one as an individual, maybe he has given you um, prowess in mathematics. And so you go and you must glorify God in all those things that you do. But thirdly, we also need to understand the question and respond to how do I align to it then? How do I know the will of God? Get born again. Get born again, you start walking in the will of God. It is general and it's also particular. It is general in the sense you are born man or woman it is particular in the sense he has given you gifts and talents but thirdly we also need to ask ourselves how do i align in the will of god well if you biblically experience salvation john 3 16 if you come to christ if you biblically experience regeneration second corinthians 5 17 reminds us those things the old is gone the new has come if you experience salvation or regeneration then obedience is the only way we align to the will of god so if you ask me Pastor Mavo, how do I align myself to the will of God? By obeying. Jesus said in John 14, 15, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. That is how we align ourselves in the will of God. It's not by praying loudly or you doing this. No, it is obedience. Obedience is the only way we abide. So question is, are you obeying? Are you walking according to the word of God? Then if you're doing that, then you are on your way to understanding how to align in the will of God. And progressively over your life, he will continue using those moments of obedience to open you up to realities about him in scripture and in life. And finally, we need to also then understand that there's no need for us to get lost in words and semantics. 
it is very easy to know the will of God and it all begins at salvation. How do I know the will of God? Get born again. What is the will of God for my, for my life, Pastor Marvel? Well, it is general in the sense who you, he has created you to be and the plan that he has. It is particular in the sense the gifts and the talents he's given you. Remember, we are stewards of this gift that is given us and when we are good stewards of them, we fulfill the will of God. And of course, we are saying the only way to align in that will is to walk in obedience. So whoever you are, whatever level of life you are at or whatever you're doing in this life, just remember, the will of God begins at the point of salvation, grows with our obedience, and in those two ways, we are able to fully say, I know the will of God, either as a husband, as a son, as a wife, as a student, as an employee, or as an employer. The will of God, as Ecclesiastes says, is to worship God and serve Him only in whatever level of life. God bless you and keep you. Thank you for watching, Uliza. Please check out more of our digital resources at kuzaapp.com. If you have a question that you would like a biblical response to, please send in your question to us at kuzaapp at gmail.com. Text us on 0799-254-254 or send us a message on our Facebook at kuzaapp.